Well, as we always say at these moments, you can see in the face, the tension, the pressure, and the opportunity that these young players now have in front of them. Players have exchanged those mementos of what is one of the biggest moments of their young lives. And we've got just over three minutes before the start of this gold medal game. Now, can Spain take away the United States Championship? Well, on the face of it, the stats are pretty even. But Spain do a very, very good job of stealing the basketball. Really do play with intelligence on the defensive end. And if there is an Achilles heel, the United States, apart from Samuelson, haven't shot the three ball very well. Samuelson has shot 41% from the three-point line. Overall, the team is at 34, which means without her threes, the rest of the United States lineup is below 30% from beyond the uh, three-point arc. The two-point percentage is very close with uh, 45 and 48% respectively. The United States just get on the offensive glass a little better than the Spanish. Well, there's a game plan that Coach Lepena would have put on the floor, would have walked through in practice. That's what it's all about. That's the trophy that both of these sets of young players will want to get their hands on at the end of this game. Well, the Spanish have to chase Samuelson off the three-point line, then they have to help, but then that's all very well, but then they've got to do a job boxing out because the U.S. is the number one ranked offensive rebound team in this competition. But Spain, they shoot the percentage better from the two-point range. They shoot it better from the three-point line. It's about ball control. An extra pass for me. As Hungary demonstrated yesterday, you can break this United States team down. Here's the starting lineup for Spain. Cazola, Salvadores, and Alex Junio gets the start, and that's really about the athleticism. Here, Lopez and Maria Condi, who's been impressive with her athleticism and quickness at that four spot, complete the starting lineup for the Spanish under 17 national team. The United States will take the floor with this starting lineup. Aisha Dura is impressed, very impressive. Ogun Bawale started this tournament very strongly, has struggled a little in the last few rounds. Cox and Boyking are strong on the inside, but Samuelson leads this team in so many ways. And while they're a talented lineup and they are 12 deep, Samuelson is the ace in the pack. There's always the aspect you've got to hang tough at the start of the games against teams that come out strongly and aggressively, and that's what the United States will do. Hungary were very, very positive yesterday at times. They beat the initial pressure and then finished in transition. And apart from the Samuelsons' barrage of threes in the first quarter, it was a very, very tough game for the United States. They had to show the zone. If they show the zone against Spain, do Spain have enough weapons from the perimeter? Well, Angela Salvadores, last year's MVP from the under-16 European Championships, is incredibly efficient for mid-range. Cazorla and Junio can both shoot the three. And Junio, Junio is big on impact, sometimes off the bench, but in this day, in this game, a starting role for the young youngster from the Grand Canaria Club. Here we go then, the final, the 2014 FIBA World Championships for under 17 women here in Pilsen, here in the Czech Republic. And we're underway, Cox gets a piece and the United States will have the first possession. Let's take it straight inside. Cox on the inside is fouled by Lopez. 
Not the start that Spain wanted. Exactly the start that Lauren Cox wanted. Got it deep, went up, drew the contact. Now has to make it from the line. Cox, an 83% free throw shooter on the tournament. And she starts with two from two. Little extension on the defense by the United States. Cazola gets it to Salvadores. It's a tough matchup. Samuelson Salvadores. Come the outside. The States come out in the zone. Well, that tells you something. Oh, nice look by Salvadores. Uh, Junio stopped on the penetration. Oh, Spain could take a lot of personal. Positives out of both uh, the starts, really. The zones being employed. Aisha Jura on the lean away. Doesn't get the drop. He goes up with the offensive rebound. Can't get it to roll. And Spain have a chance to take it over. Salvador is in transition. Blows. No. Gets the soft roll off the ring. Great composure. Angela Salvador is ties it up at two apiece. Dura gets it into the half court. Spain will pack it in underneath, not really extending, playing defense on the three-point line. Aisha Dura, so this is going to have to go up. Wale gets it away with no time on the clock, but knocks it down. Well, that's how she started the tournament, strong from both in and outside, and Samuelson's going to get charged with a personal. And Salvadores is more than smart enough to take it at the slightly bigger, longer. Katie Samuelson, both teams feeding each other out here. 8.33 to go in the first. And Junio outside will find Lopez. Salvadores, Spanish tempo here. Cazorro looks inside, great look. Junio mishandled, wraps it around. Lopez wasn't ready. And Lopez has got to get going. And Cazola's going to foul mid-court. They've had that look underneath twice now, the Spanish, and have not exploited the opportunity. And on that occasion, ended up with the Lopez turnover. Aisha Dure. Samuelson has it outside. Junior guards her. Go to the inside. Samuelson goes up. She's bumped. Felt that one. Joanna Holmes is going to check in. They're going to check out uh, Katie Samuelson. Sweet as you like from the free throw line. 83% from the line on this tournament. Makes it a 6-2 lead. Goes two for two. She'll sit down. And Joyner Holmes gives the uh, U.S. a very, very athletic front line. Holmes, Cox, and Boykin. They're a handful on, in anyone's book. Rizzolo looks long. Conde has it. We'll find Junio. And Salvadores gets it on the ball reversal. Nice pass to the inside. Condi, little tentative on that little fadeaway jump shot. Boykin handles it, gets it to Agambawali. Cox gets it deep, off the glass for two, doesn't get the roll. Defensive rebound by Lopez. That'll hopefully get her going. Salvadores penetrates, leans. Gets the drop. Great angle. No help on the defensive end. 7-4, the United States lead this one early. Hungabawali backs it out. Salvador has guards her. Aisha Dura. 
finds Agamboale, puts it on the floor, attacks it. Salvadoris gets called for the reach. That's the fourth team foul for Spain. There's only three minutes gone in the game. It's not exactly been an extension of the Spanish defense. Just been punished by the officials for a little bit of laziness on defense. Aisha Dure, Spain, show the zone. Dure penetrates, little hang time for two. Beautiful looking finish. Azala moves it on, Junio. Salvadores looks underneath. Lopez doesn't really create a target for her. Now she steps out, ball reversal, Cazola. Condi going baseline. Lopez with five on the shot clock, not looking to shoot it. Salvadores does, and that's way long. And Ingui comes down with a defensive rebound. And if you have to be critical of Spain at the moment, physically looking a little intimidated on the inside. No rhythm to them offensively. Agamboale moves it on. Aisha Jure, nice crossover. Gets to the middle. Lopez with a block. Aisha Jure gets a little bit uh, harshly treated, should we say. Blocked on that penetration. 3.7 on the possession. Jonah Holmes has it. It's got to go up. Step back three, throws it up. That's not hitting anything. And it will be a Spanish basketball. Samuelson and Kennedy Burke will step into the game for the United States. Agamboale and Jonah Holmes will sit down. And Spain take the timeout. Stevenini, the president of FIBA in the crowd. I'm sure he liked every one of this. And most of the crowd, most of the home crowd for the Czech Republic have stayed for this final. It's a great atmosphere here in the gym. All the competing teams are here to see who will be crowned the 2014 FIBA World Championships under 17 women, Spain or the United States. It's a very tentative start. Both teams trying to feel each other out. The USA have the 9-4 lead. And Cazola will get things going. You know, goes baseline, needs a pass, finds one. Salvadores on the dribble, wraps it around. Cazola on the dribble is fouled on the penetration. Kennedy Burke gets her hands involved. She picks up the personal. Second team foul on the United States. Salvadores takes the ball screen. Conde stops, pops, lines up the three, is long. Lopez and Junior on the glass. And that will be a United States basketball. Aisha Jure will Enter for the USA Boykin. They go on that back screen. They have been very productive that time. I think we could not hang on to the pass. United States with 11-6 to go. On the possession, we'll have it on the baseline. Substitution as Joyner Holmes comes back. What an impact Joyner Holmes, jo Holmes has had throughout this tournament, averaging nearly 12 points a game on only 17 and a half minutes of basketball. The U.S. will inbound. Dewar with the three is off. Defensive rebound by Lopez, and Junia pushes Cazola. Junia outside, we've got a whistle. 
Onigui is going to be charged with a personal away from the basketball. Condi picks herself up. Cox comes back. Onigui will sit down. Cazola gets it back to Salvador as his quick first step. Movement away from the ball. Condi penetrates, goes on the way up. No foul call, chance to run for the United States. Samuelson handles. And she picks it up early. Aisha Jura at the three-point line moves it. Samuelson lines it up for three. Is off. Offensive rebound. Holmes comes up with a beautiful pass. Kennedy Burke blows the two-footer, goes back up off her own rebound, can't get it to drop, gets another go at it. And Salvador is in transition. It's always a good option for Spain. Junior goes up, gets the drop for two, 9-6. And Kennedy Burke had three attempts from two feet. Couldn't connect with any. And Aisha Jew will have to bring it down. Well, the, well Spain have set the tempo here. Jure, Nowhere to go on the penetration. Finds Cox at the high post. Spins, goes up in traffic. Can't get it to drop. That's a rebound by Lopez. Four seconds on the shot clock. And SQ will come in for the United States. And Cecil Mouté will come in for Spain. Lopez will sit down. Into the game now is Lopez. And the official talking to the Spanish coach, which I think is a little unnecessary. The Spanish girls are just up for this. Samuelson, quick release off the glass is pretty. Cazola looks because Salvador is in transition, going baseline, gets a little contact. Reverse layup is beautiful. Well, you saw Samuelson at the far end off the inbound play. Beautiful execution, great release. And Salvador is just answers in transition. Samuelson on the back screen, offensive foul called. Joyner Holmes is charged with a personal. That'll be the fourth team foul for the United States. Nancy Mulkey will join the game. The 6 9, 2 meter 6 center. And Spain make the Corresponding matchup change is Limo Diallo. One of the four members of the Cyclo 21 club from Spain. And Cozola and Salvadores. Tries to fill the double team, needs a pass, fine one. Cozola did a great job seeing the basketball. Zola stops the break, Salvadores hunts it. Agonbale is on the floor, Cox gets it over. And Iskew finds Samuelson for three. Is off. That's an air ball. Someone needs to write a record of that one. After going six from six, Samuelson 0 for 2 the start of this game. A great hustle by Cox. He comes down with the, the offensive chase down and the two. Juniel penetrates. Salvadores looks high. Skip pass. Cox is quick at the back of the zone and gets a hand on it as Cazola was licking her lips, looking, thinking, shot. Raventos, Leal Raventos will come in for Spain. A 13-8 lead. We've just done the three to go in the first quarter. And Salvadoris is fouled three times by Ionescu. Referee finally calls it. I think he gave Salvadoris the chance to try and establish possession. And Salvadoris, for all her quality, has shot 53% from the three throw line on this tournament. But this is a gold medal game. She's got a game face on. Already has six points. This to make it seven, which she does. 13-10, under three minutes to go in the first quarter. And Boale skips it. Ionescu in the corner. 
penetration. Tries to scoop the soft one and gets the roll. Nice move. And then Toss finds Junio. And Toss wants it back, gets it back. Salvador has lines up the three. Count it. Time out, United States of America. Spain close it to a two-point lead on the Salvadores three. Salvadores has double digits, has 10 of the 13 points. Well, the United States have come out and decided to try and contain Spain and play the zone. But the pace of the game appears now to really suit as to suit Spain here. They've been able to work their way back into this. They trail by two. So substitutions in Eskew after the nice little penetration, sits down. They should do it back. Cox, Mulcahy on the inside. Agumbawale. Spain extending the defense a little. Raventos will just try and work the ball. Spain show man to man coming out of the timeout. They should do it. Mulcahy comes high. There's a duck in with Cox. Tries to change the angle, poor pass. And Toss gives it to Salvadores. Junio goes baseline. And she's fouled on the way. Mulkey gets a hand on it. Unio will go to the free throw line. Chance to tie the game up with 1.53 to go in the first. Mulkey gets a little isolated there. She sits. And Holmes and uh, I think we come in. Samuelson sits down. The U.S. trying to increase the pace with the lineup they have on the floor. Junio from the free throw line makes the first. Eighty-seven percent free throw shooter across these uh, FIBA World Championships, but goes one for two. Diallo gets a piece and keeps it alive. I think we can't hold it, and Spain will have possession and a chance to lead it for the first time in this World Championship final. Ote will get it to. Salvadores floats the little two, doesn't get the drop, tries to hunt it. Anigui comes down with it, now she needs a pass, finds Dieu. Dieu looks to isolate down low, goes inside, Junior Holmes. They recover it. Agamboale is short with a three, ball goes over the back, ball goes into the hands of Raventos. Spain have numbers down the floor here. Five on three break. Raventos penetrates. Great work by Mahadi. Get it. Junia goes up. Great work on the glass. Both teams just compete. Agamboale penetrates. Looks for the two on one option. Dura under the basket. Messi. And Salvadores brings it away. Attacks the defense. Goes up. Has it knocked away. And that comes off Salvadores. And that ends what can only be described as somewhat messy. Aisha Jew will bring it down. And the pace has been taken out of the game, the tempo of the game. A 15-14 game, the two highest scoring teams. Salvadores with a steal, going coast to coast, goes up, left hand off the glass for two, great finish. Spain have the 16-15 lead. And Salvadores already has the 11 points personal of the 16 Spanish points. Agamboale barrels to the ring, gets the drop, nice move.
Junio lines up three, turns it down. Rather Toss will call the two high post for the horn set. Ute releases and reverses. Salvador is with five on the shot clock. Junio reverses. Rather Toss baseline penetration. Tries to reverse layup, hits the underside of the ring. And that's the end of what's been a fascinating chess-like first quarter. The USA with the 17-16 lead over Spain. There's confirmation, both teams feeling each other out. Both teams will have positives to take from that first half. They'll be reflected in the stats, here they are. Neither team shooting the ball particularly well. Three steals for Spain, six turnovers for the United States. But dominance on the glass already for the United States. 13 to seven, they have the advantage on the glass. It's all been about this, young lady. Salvador, Les Angeles Salvador has 11 of Spain's 16 points. But it's also been about the physical battle how both teams have tried to set themselves up defensively. Both teams using zone defense extensively. And that has left us with a tempo of a game that possibly no one expected. The USA haven't come out and tried to punish Spain by keeping the tempo high, using their extra depth in terms of their bench. Spain, on the other hand, are happy to play this tempo. A number of the Spanish lineup have had senior basketball experience. And we, Salvadores has been absolutely phenomenal. Salvadores with 11 points, one assist. She's picked up a personal, but she's been exceptional. Second half will be a Spanish basketball. First time down. Salvadores remains. The other plus for Spain is Diallo is playing extended minutes, which has meant that Lopez has had some valuable time on the bench. That's a real bonus for this Spanish team. And Radentos will call the play. First possession down for Spain. Pérez gets her first taste of the championship game. Ute penetrates. Pérez will replace. Perez on the dribble, goes up, is blocked by Cox. She finds Larentos, who goes against the long closeout. She's blocked. And Aisha Jewel will draw the contact. Larentos got to shoot that shot. If she has the space on a long closeout, it's got to back herself. The penetration just takes her to the help, and they're queuing up then. Maybe the extra pass is what's needed. Aisha Jewel will handle it. The USA with the one-point lead. Spain, man-to-man. -man. Looking outside. Agaboale. Jew on the dribble. S slips the keyway. Offensive foul call. And the foul's called on uh, Katie Samuelson. That'll be foul number two. Well, that's a key number for the United States. Joanna Holmes in the game. Katie Samuelson with two fouls. Salvadores. Diallo comes high. She reverses it in the corner. They're going to move the ball. Perez is open. They go back to Raventos. Salvadores, seven on the shot clock. Great pass to the inside. Diallo's not ready for it. Turnover, Spain. Agamboale penetrates. Goes up. Doesn't get the drop. Great rebound by Perez, 15-year-old. Salvador is in transition, goes to Duale. Inside, outside, Salvador is, attacks the closeout. Short jump shot is good. Angela Salvador is putting on an offensive clinic at the moment. Lopez will come back for Spain. Aisha Dure. Samuelson looks for Agonbole, gets the hole. 
baseline wide open, great seal. Alik Agambawale, Uti with a short jump shot is long. Salvadores will bring it out. Spain have a new 24. Salvadores faces the back of the zone. Aventos. Penetration. Salvadores just slipped to the baseline. Lines up the long two. Little mishandle on the pickup. Ute gets the offensive rebound. Goes up. Cox blocks it. Well, and Reventos went for the steal. Durr's going to get the two. Well, Spain have had good looks. Salvadores got to make the good looks. There's going to be enough forced shots. Salvadores looks higher. Ute gets it. Pelez doesn't get the drop. Great rebound by Joyner Holmes. USA four on two. Great pass. Cox with two. And the USA running the floor. Get the back-to-back -back fast break baskets. Open it out to a five-point advantage. And it's about transition. And it's about, oh, not about bad missed shots. It's about missing opportunities that Spain really should have taken. Diallo's going to sit. Junior's going to come back, as is Lopez. Conde's coming back. If they're getting those looks with those guys, you'd expect them to make them. So in a low-scoring game, the USA opened it out to a five-point lead. 37% in the first quarter for Spain, you'd think is not going to get it done. But they've gone one from seven since, and they've gone one from seven from two feet. And some of that's been the challenge of the United States defense. A lot has just been missed opportunity. Uh, Coach Le Pena takes the timeout, tries to reestablish a little bit of confidence and control in what his team is trying to do. So Spain will have possession of the basketball on the baseline. Conde flash, didn't get it. Lopez skip, because all are back in the game. Conde extends the floor. Raventos fires the three, is short. Work on the glass, Conde hunts it down, she comes up with it. Wraps it to Junio, goes up, she's fouled on the way up. And she will go to the free throw line. Great work by Conde on the glass. Junio goes to the free throw line and they need to keep that scoreboard ticking over. Conde makes the first and goes one for two again. They've got to make the throws. There's a duel. Gazzola really putting some pressure on up the floor. Spain sag off again. And then we little duck in. Dur on a closeout. Pull up two is long. Cox can't keep it alive. And Conde, immediate impact off the bench. They fire the three, Junio knocks it down in transition. One point game. Iris Junio brings Spain back within one. Agon Bowale will find Cox, they duck in again. And then he goes up in traffic, too easy. Lopez. Just played soft away from the basketball, and then he's going to score every time. Conde high. They look down low. Lopez wraps it around. Raventos. Junio's wide open after making the last three. Fires another one. He's long. Great box out. Ogon Boale pushes. She's fouled from behind by Junio. Mass substitution. For the United States, four in. Only Anigui stays.
Anna Wilson takes over the basketball. Samuelson, offensive foul called. The elbow is too high. And the Iguink. That's how Lopez just played a little harder defensively. And because she played harder defensively, we had to work to get position and got the elbow a little high. It's very hard on the inside. Top level of international basketball. Pizzola outside. Junio looks down low. Lopez has double team. Give and go. Junio goes up. Blows the layup. Maybe not expecting it, but that's no excuse. Wilson spins, needs a pass, looks high. I think he penetrates, goes up, gets the two. That's how you finish a layup. Five point lead for the United States. And all Spain have done is missed a wide open look. And Junio makes up for that. Green light time for Eilis Junio. Wilson looks underneath. Nigui gets an angle. Gets it off the glass. The follow's no good. Lopez comes down. And Spain have a chance to tie it. I'll take the lead again. Conde goes up. Misses the layup. That's two missed layups for Spain. And the coach and staff of Spain are absolutely right. But not called. Asking for the travel. Ionescu penetrates. Breaks the foul line. Kicks it to Wilson. Eight on the shot clock. Ionescu. Wilson in the corner, wraps inside, and Iwi goes up. It's blocked by Lopez. Chance for Spain to run. Three on two break. Radentos. Condi goes up. Blocking foul. Condi will go to the free throw line. Spain have a chance to tie it at 27. That puts the United States of America in the penalty. Nigri and Holmes sit down. Ionescu sits down. Choi comes in. Everybody on that USA lineup has now seen some action in this first half. 4.16 to go. They've called it a blocking foul before the shot. Not sure. I'm nowhere near the action compared to the referee. Gazzola moves it on. Salvador is his back. Misses the floater. Burke comes down with it, finds Wilson in transition. Joy just moves it back. 27-25, four to go in the half. Oh, the rotation is excellent. Samuelson goes down, no space to play. Cox gets it, should score, does score. <laughs> Salvadoris will move it on. Junio. Izzola in the corner for three, is long. Gets her own rebound, great hustle. Little bounce pass to the inside, Condi hangs on. Ball goes out of bounds, will belong to Spain. Samuelson comes out. Four points so far for Katie Samuelson. Salvadores relieves the pressure. Cazola. Condi puts it on the floor. Finds Salvadores. Cazola flares to the wing. Open three is good. Cazola picks up her first two. Must have towed the line. Wilson gets the ball into Choi. Wilson just lines up the three as long. Monkey can't grab it. Lopez can. And Cazola will bring it down. Chance for Spain to tie again. Salvador is baseline penetration. Cox plays great defense. And we get a loose ball foul. And Salvador picks up a second foul. Need a little consistency from the officials on the uh, loose ball stuff. Salvador has picked up a foul. When there's been three or four other moments, they've let it go. Great work by uh, Gazzola, almost a steal. Dura brings it down. Aisha Dura attacks it. 
Boy Kim will get it into Agvam Bawale. High screen by Boy Kim. Agvam Bawale penetrates, pulls up, jump shot is good. Salvadores gives and goes, doesn't get it. Junio Azala lines up, the three is, is off. Salvadores gets it, bounces it down. Diallo goes up, is blocked by Cox. Diallo's just got to do a better job getting it up there. You know, strong player, needs to go through that contact. Cox did a great job getting it across and reacting to the little pass from Salvadores. Azala, little two, is blocked by Jua. He's a Jua, what an athlete. Great defensive execution. Agumbale turns it over. Just recovers it. Salvadores almost gets it. Samuelson for three. In the book. In the book. Waited all half for her to find the range. And she knocks down a first three and it opens it out to a seven point lead. Condi comes high. Ball reversal. Salvadores. Great cut by Condi. Doesn't get seen. Salvadores finds Cazola inside. Condi tries to. Create for Salvador, his step back two is long. And Jua's gonna chase that down, great effort. Tremendous effort by Aisha Jua, great presence. Lopez is coming back, Diallo's gonna sit. And timeout call by the United States. Well, Spain are being a little intimidated here statistically. 24%, they shoot from the two-point range. They've had to change shots consistently. Seven from 29, doesn't get it done. Coach Phillips drew it up, out of bounds. Looking for that seal underneath. Lopez is back for Spain. Spain, with the exception of Cazorla, have their starting lineup in the game. They just do not rotate as deep as the United States. Got a seal in the middle. They get it on the weak side. They miss it. Bumbuale puts it on the floor, breaks down the defense off the glass, doesn't get it to drop, gets her own rebound. Revan Toss is involved. Who's coming up with that? It'll be a Spanish basketball. Missed opportunity for the United States. Revan Toss will advance the basketball. Spain pointless for three fifty since the 315 mark. Lopez puts a stop to that. Tough jumper. Gets him within five. Aisha Jua, so quick, backs it out. And the USA into the half court. Cox, great steal. Oh! Rather than toss with a help side block. The Spanish bench loved it. The crowd loved it. The neutrals in the crowd were up for that one. Watch this. The diminutive guard times it to perfection. 10.6 on the possession. Wraparound pass is poor. Can't hold it. And Salvadores ekes out. Gets the easy two. Three point game with 30 seconds in this first half remaining. Spain have a foul to give. Cox, strong. Raventos. 
five point game. Last 10 seconds, Salvadores has it exactly who you'd want to get it. Seven. With Salvadores on the dribble, little hesitation. Wraps it. Kundi for three to end the half is off. And we've reached half time here in the gold medal game. Kundi missed the wide open three at the bottom of the second period. Both teams making their way to the locker room. We're going to get confirmation of the score and a look at the statistics. For the United States, the game has been slowed down, but they still lead this 36 to 31. The tempo may suit Spain, but the United States with their defensive pressure, especially around the ring, have kept Spain to 29% from two point range. And that is killing the Spanish effort here. They trail by five. Neither team many trips to the free throw line. Neither team shooting the lights out. It's been a championship game. Here are the game leaders. Salvadores has 17 of the Spanish 31. Cox leads the United States with 10. Salvadores all across the Spanish stats. Cox all across the United States stats. The game's there, 36-31. We're gonna leave you with some highlights of what's been a fascinating first half. We'll be back in around 10 minutes for the second half of the gold medal game from Pilsen here in the Czech Republic. We'll see you in around 10 for the second half.
Well, welcome back to Pilsen in the Czech Republic. We've got two minutes before the start of the third quarter. The United States of America leads Spain 36-31. The United States got off to the nice start. Spain have tied, led by one, but the United States keep that five, six point advantage. They've been very good coming off the bench. Spain have missed a lot of opportunities around the ring. The defense of the United States on the inside has been very good. Exceptional, controlled, but very, very physical. Changing shots, taking care of the rebounding department. And that's what's really kept them in this lead. 36-31, done an excellent job. Katie Samuelson, who came in on a bit after a big night last night, seven points, made the three deep in the second period. And if she starts going off like she went off last night, this could really seal it for the United States. Currently, Lauren Cox leads the United States, 10 rebounds. She's had an excellent first period. Two blocks to go with those 10 points. But what we have here is a genuine championship game, the FIBA. Under 17 World Championships for women here in the Czech Republic has had a great bronze medal game that saw Hungary overcome the host of the Czech Republic. And now Spain looking to dethrone the United States, the current world champions under 17, and claim their first female world championship. Well, Spain dominated European basketball last year, winning under 16, under 18, under 20, and senior women's championships. And now they're trying to take that onto a world stage. This team won the under 16 championships in Europe last year. Salvadores in shot there was the MVP. She has 17 first half points. Change in that uh, Spanish lineup at the start of this second half. Cecil Mahetti is uh, going to start at the four, Junio and Raventos and Lopez. Agobowale, Samuelson, with Boykin, Cox, and do the same starting lineup. Cox goes up on the inside, tough finish. 12 points personal for Lauren Cox. Big reputation, putting in a big performance. U.S. gap in Spain on the perimeter. Salvadores goes to the step back two, is short. Great rebound by Junio, can't get it away. And Boykin comes up with the rebound and leads it. We'll get it to Samuelson. Asa Dua. Boykin out top, looks underneath. Cox releases. Asa Dua with seven on the shot clock. Has it knocked away? Five seconds for the United States on this possession. Oh, nice pass. Cox gets the first four points of this second half. Junio, Spain trying to maintain this tempo. Uti comes high. The U.S. just looking at this, no one being a threat. Lopez inside, outside, Junio with the three is short. And Cox just keeps accumulating positive stats here. Flat period here for Spain. We've got to find a way to lift this. Viking looks underneath. Cox is just dominant underneath at the moment. Has got the step on Lopez. Sandwich and spins. Finds Wale with the three is long. And rather than toss, chance to run. Salvador is down the floor. A little hesitation. Reverse layup is blocked by Cox. Cox takes care of business again. Aisha Jure with a beautiful quick release. And timeout. It's an 11 point lead. A 6 0 start to this second period for the United States of America. And this is tough. A tough finish by Aisha Jure. Really. Elevates, creates the angle. And the United States making a statement in the first 
minutes of this third quarter. Coach Depena takes the timeout. Spain have some questions to answer here. Well, this is what it's all about. The medals for these FIBA World Championships on the 17 women. Those are the gold ones. There are 24 players out there on the floor at the moment that just desire those. Cazola in the game for Spain. She's replaced Raventos. Conde joins the game. Starting lineup that Spain had at the beginning of the game restored. Conde looks underneath. The, the USA are going to stand and look at this Spanish offense unless they challenge it. Salvador is, tries to and mistimes the pass to Lopez. And Dua can't handle it. Julio gets back. And Spain pushed the other way. Rio Conde outside. Takes it down the middle, goes up. She's fouled on the way to the hoop. She'll shoot the throws. And that's exactly what we're talking about now. They've got to be aggressive against this USA defense. And they're not making enough of a percentage from the perimeter. They've got to be the aggressor. Samuelson sits down with three personal. Joyner Holmes, who's been one of the big impact players for the United States in this tournament, joins the action. 11-point lead for the United States. And Conde misses the free throw. Makes the second, ticks the scoreboard over. And that's the first points in two and a half minutes for Spain at the start of this quarter. They can't have droughts. Cox looks underneath, overthrows the pass. Agambole had position, the pass was there, Cox couldn't execute. The read was good, the decision was good, execution just let her down. Cazola will Getting into the half court for Spain. Salvador is looking to create. Rosola moves off the ball, knocks down the three. Again, just that little penetration by Salvador has shifted the defense. And Cazola just spotted up, nailed the three, back to a seven point game. Cox again, clinic on the inside. Sealed, strong, great drop step. Two points for Lauren Cox, that's 16 personal. Lopez, Azola finds Salvadores. Condi down the middle again, goes with the right hand, wraps it to Lopez, that's a poor finish. Got to go strong, Agombole was going to have this in the break. Salvadores chases it down, well he can't get it to drop. Azola tries to run, Salvadores has it. Goes up, little lean out, doesn't get the roll. Condi on the glass, needs a pass, finds Cazola, lines up the three, same spot, same result. They chased it down and knocked the three, six point game. And Spain get him right back in this. Aisha Jure gets it into Holmes, who steps out high. Salvador is playing great denial. Penetration and the foul as Boyan goes to the hoop. She'll go to the free throw line for two shots. And Boykin's been very good from the free throw line, an 80% free throw shooter across these world championships. Cox sits down. Ogombowale sits down with her. Ionescu checks in. I think we steps in as well for the United States as they ring the changes. Soft touch, soft roll. First one is good.
One from Tudor, I think he's on the glass. Lopez just did not box out. And Lopez has the tools here. Spain needed to really use them. The weak finish down the other end, didn't box out that time. Just desperately need Lopez to start to give them um, some output. Nigri on the inside, tries to work to the glass. His foul travels on the way through. Lopez releases to the high post. Gazzola. They won't leave her alone in that spot. They find Huni on the inside. Goes up inside for two. Five-point game. Spain right back where they were at the half. He should do. Off the high screen. Breaks the defense down. Floats it in the lane for two. Pretty play. Pretty finish. Great execution. Aisha Dure enhances an already growing reputation. Salvadores for three is good. And they will not go away. Samuelson's going to check back in for the United States. Aisha Dure skips it. Inescu breaks down the middle, gets into the lane, needs a pass, finds one. Inescu, six on the shot clock. Long, two is long. And Kunde comes down with it, has a look, decides not to risk the pass. And Cazorla has a chance to make this a two-point game. Great pass. Lopez had a drop step, but fakes. A little fade away for two. And after trading by 11, Spain have dragged themselves right back in this. They trail 47-45, timeout the United States. And that's why Lopez is important. She needs to be productive. She gives Spain some inside scoring. Timeout, the United States. Let's hear what Susan Phillips has got to say. Oh, the message from Coach Phillip, pretty clear. Pounded inside. But down the defensive end, they've been a little passive. Spain really did let them be passive. They didn't attack them. They didn't try and turn them down, the def down that end. But now Spain have become a little bit more aggressive. The USA have to up that intensity. Spain restore the strong, one of the strong lineups they have. It's how long this lineup can stay competitive. They need rotation. Spain show the zone coming out of the timeout. The Pena mixes it up again. Boykin will reverse the ball. Dure swings it. Samuelson, they know where she is. Aisha Dure on the dribble, gets to the foul line. Stops and pops and looks sweet. Aisha Dure really. Looking the part at the point. Salvadores moves it on. Cazola, the other side for three is short. And doesn't get the roll this time. Four point game, 49-45. Aisha Dewar will handle it against this zone. Goes inside to Samuelson. Oh, Spain back man to man. They're looking inside. They can't get it to Cox. Agambole goes with a pull up. And both her and Aisha Jura have been exploiting that all game. Tremendous execution. Six point game, 51 to 45. Cazola is short. Great work by Lopez. Salvadores gets it back. Challenges the defense and moves it on. Uh, Lopez was open, and they've been open there all night. They've just got to execute that. 
The pillar takes the timeout. He doesn't want the United States to build on that little momentum they've come after the Phillips timeout. So the pillar takes the timeout. And with 3.13 to go in the third, the United States of America had the six point lead in this world championship game. Kim will inbound the basketball after the the Penna timeout and Asa Jew who's been immense. Everyone Bole and Asa Jew just strong in the backcourt. Cox high, they look high low, great execution out of the coaching manual in the USA all too easily open it back out to an eight point game. Salvadores and Conde combined. Junio Penetrates down the middle. Salvadores nails the three. When you need her, she arrives. Salvadores hits the 20 plus point mark. Aishaju spins to the middle. Just about flips it. Agamboale goes up, is blocked. Lopez just took control. Salvadores. Finds Junio, little deflection. Cox, what a block down the other end. Oh, Agobole gets blocked at one end, and Cox just outworks everybody to get back in transition. Well, Lopez owned it. Aisha just sits down. Five-point game. Spain have possession of the basketball. Junior gets it. Cazola, that's a spot. Count it. Two-point game. Spain are back within touching distance. Samuelson will bring it. Junio guards her and extends. Boy King guarded by Conde. She spins, goes up in the lane. Foul called. And Boykin, an 80% free throw shooter, finds herself back at the free throw line with 1.53 to go in the third. The United States lead it by two. Oh, Boykin will want to make the second. She goes 0 for 2, but Cox bows her out, goes up off the glass, can't complete. And Conde comes down with it. And Gonbole comes in with a quick hands. Floater for two is no good. Boykin goes up and finally gets two. And Spain will curse those moments. Salvadores goes at Samuelson, is fouled. And Salvadores has just owned Katie, Katie Samuelson in this game. Struggled to deal with that extra little bit of quickness. Salvador is on the free throw line. 132 in the third to go. And Salvador is looking to move on to 25 points. Makes the first. Goes one for two. She'll hunt it down, though. Pizzola gives her a pass. Sees the basketball. Salvador is wide open. Attacks the closeout. 
Great pass, Condi goes up, and she's fouled on the way up. And she'll shoot two. Now, Kundi really has had a journey from the free throw line in this competition. Shooting way under 50% for a player of her ability. Not the norm. And if ever Spain needed her to make both, it's in a gold medal game. Maria Conde makes the second, makes it a two-point game. She'll sit down, Cecile. That's it, comes back into the game. 122 to go in the third, and after training by 11, Spain have dragged themselves back into a two-point game. This Spanish team has won championships, so has this American team. And the under-16 FIBA Americas last year. Inescu deep in the corner for three. Just shows the depth of talent on this United States team. Inescu comes in, doesn't think, strokes it from deep. Salvadores has it, guarded by Inescu. Salvadores looks to exploit that matchup. Cazola, six on the shot clock. Wraps it, Salvadores gets it away, short. As he comes down, and Ionescu comes down with a defensive rebound. Big contribution. Salvadores just picks a pocket for two. There's around a seven second differential between game and shot clock. Dua fouls. is fouled. Cazorla. There's still a four-second differential. Full beam second reset for the United States. Gazzola picks up her second foul. 13th foul for the United States, uh, for Spain. Joyner Holmes, oh, quick move. Oh, Lopez, get out of here. Get out of here, says Maya Lopez. Watch this, great move by Holmes, going up. Lopez swats that one away. Clean as you like on the replay. Should do it, lobs the ball. Holmes can't handle it. And with seven seconds left in the period, Spain have a chance to tie it or trail by one. Salvadores goes up in traffic, she's fouled, doesn't get the drop on the M1. What a play. Doesn't take the rocket science to work out. She was going to shake the move to the hoop. Drew the contact with time expiring. And Angela Salvadores with time expired will go to the free throw line to make this a one point game. There's one second left in the period. Angela Salvadores. Makes the first. That's 27 points personal for Salvadores. Make that 27. Moves to go straight up. He doesn't get the drop. The clock didn't start. The first one would have counted. But at the end of the third quarter, Spain, after training 11, dragged themselves back in and trailed by two. 58-56.
We'll get a chance to look at the statistics in a moment. Here they come. And Spain shooting full teak, 4% from the three-point line. Have forced themselves back into it. They've closed the margin on the glass. But what a phenomenal game here. Ten minutes to decide who will be the FIBA world champion for women at under 17. This one hangs in the balance. Spain with Salvador has just been unbelievable. Salvador's stat line is one of those games you dream of. She has 27 points. She has three rebounds, three rebounds, three assists. She does have two fouls. She hasn't, she's taken them at a great percentage. Well, who's to say, regardless of the result, she was MVP of the Euro basket for under 16 women last year. With this sort of performance, she looks every inch an MVP of this game and this tournament. It still comes down for me, can she get the support she needs? Cazola stepped up and made the threes in that third period. Lopez has been in and out of the game. Her minutes are up, she's been great at some points. She struggled at others. She needs a fourth period here like she's never had before. There's going to be so much pressure on her to hold the middle. So Spain will have possession of the basketball at the start of the fourth period. They trail two. Salvadores will inbound it. Cazola, Ajunio, the same five that finished the period for Spain. Salvadores. Cazola, Mariti comes high. Salvadores looks for a closeout, doesn't get one. Cazola moves there. Junio lines up the three. Cox is pretty close to landing on it. Aisha Dura in transition. Wraps it. Working with the step back is short. Lopez keeps a piece. Mahedi works hard. And Junio brings it. Cazola in transition. Lopez inside, outside. Cazola lines up the three. Got it. Spain take the lead with 9.17 to go, and they lead it by one. Forty-five percent from the three-point line. Cazorla has lit it up in the second half. They go to the lob to Cox, blocked, gets her own rebound. No angle, but she's fouled on the way back up. Mahuti fouls her behind the backboard. Cox, what a great effort. Yep, she missed the first, but she stayed with it. Came down with the offensive rebound. Cox, solid from the free throw line. Over 80, well, 85% now on the tournament. A big inside player that can shoot the free throw and restores the lead for the United States. Salvadores. Ruti extends it. Cazorla guarded by Aisha Dura. Salvadores lines up the long three. Oh, she nails it. Angela Salvadores. It's an offensive clinic by Salvadores. And Spain lead it by two. And Cazorla comes up with a steal, and Aisha Dura is going to get charged with a personal. Now the USA under pressure for the first time in this tournament. 
against a team that's used to winning big games in Spain. But as I say, the United States, this team is used to winning championships too. Salvadoris will bring it, guarded by Samuelson. Junio and Lopez reverses the basketball. Gazzola comes down the middle. Salvador is great little cut. Flares gets Samuelson in the air. Step back mid range. Two is long. And Boykin comes down with a rebound and brings. I think the roof would have come off the gym if Salvador had made that. Cox again gets so deep. The foul is on the floor. It's Lopez playing a soft before she catches it. Got to play a harder off the ball. Once Cox, who does a great job stepping in. There she has a sealed game over. All they need is a decent pass. Great play by Cox. Really did seal off beautifully. Asa Jura on the sideline. Salvadores. Junio comes with a steal. Samuelson. Pulls up, long two is off. Defensive rebound by Cazola. Finds Junio in transition. Lopez will reverse it. Salvador is. And the matchup with Jure could be decisive in this game now. Junior penetrates, doesn't get it. Cazola steps back. Her spot is off with a three. Lopez can't get the rebound because that's a great work on the glass by Joyner Holmes. Two-point game. Dear long two, pulls up, is off. And Cazola comes down with it. Both teams starting to struggle from the perimeter. Uti goes up, blows the layup. Going the other way, Joyner Holmes. Attacks it on the baseline. Is fouled on the way. Uh, Uti fouls her. And how did she miss the layup? It could have been a four-point Spanish lead. Joyner Holmes has the chance to tie the game. And Holmes shooting 70, well, over 75%. But that doesn't mean anything because we're in the final of the World Championships. And all of a sudden, the free throw is just more of a problem for everybody. 6.50 to go in the fourth. Two-point game. Spain have the lead. Join her homes to make this a one-point game. And she comes up empty. Cazola looks long. Salvadores has it. Which for Spanish fans always has a nice ring about it. For the USA fans, it's the last person they need with the ball. Salvadores, little hesitation. Uti in the high post. Well, had the layup, turned it down. Salvador is on the baseline penetration. Has it turned over. And Cazorla recovers. Oh, she throws it straight back to Holmes underneath for two. Don't throw it back to your own ring. Junio. Going coast to coast. As he goes up, is blocked by Cox, but the foul is called. Uh, got her on the hip. I think that's the call by the official. Gazzola sits down. They need her back. 6.08 to go. Renan tosses in the game. Key moments now. Spain have to get into rotations and try and maintain what they have. Mahiti has to make the throw. She makes the first. Sixty-six percent across the tournament. And makes both. Little extension on the defense. Lopez shows the trap, then recovers. Oh, Joyner Holmes, nowhere to go. Aisha Jew got us make the decisions for this team now. Oh, and he's fouled by Revan. Toss out one. One, it's a crazy foul. Two, it's a great move by Aisha Jew. Aisha Jew. 
will go on a 12 personal. A chance to give the United States of America back the lead. What a play. Completes the three-point play. Salvador is just oozes confidence. Is fouled on the way. Given her two shots for that. Salvadoris. Makes the second. We got a new ball game with five and a half to go. Holmes outside. Cox again gets position. They turn it down. She needs the basketball. She gets it. Now she gets double teamed though. And she's going to travel. They just play her a little harder off the ball. They double team down. And Lopez by playing a little harder means she doesn't get so deep. Lopez just got to suck it up now. Blow, little blow to the head. She'll be fine. Lauren Cox around the circle, not around the charge circle. So much better job defensively by Spain. Around then Toss will bring it. Tries to penetrate. Not the best decision that Spain have made, but great. Mahiti makes up to the steal. And Salvador says, I need the basketball. It's on the inside. Lopez, Salvador is wide open for three. Count him. United States take a timeout. Angela Salvador is 30. What a performance by Salvador is. Timeout in the United States. 5.05 to go in the fall. Spain have the three point lead. Well, Coach Phillips and her group are asked the question. With 5.05 to go in the gold medal game here in Pilsen, the FIBA World Championships run the 17 women. Spain lead by three with 5.05 to go. Angela Salvadores has 34 personal. She has half of the points for Spain. She is leading them to in touching distance of a world championship. Still five minutes to go. Again, with Spain into their rotations, these moments are key. They do not have the depth. Do they have the staying power and the physicality here? Cox out top, they look underneath. And we're gonna get the foul underneath. Joanna Holmes again ducks in. Mahati just got her hands around Joyner Holmes. Holmes has just gone 0 for the, from the line, 0 for 2. She's 75% across the tournament. It depends which number she remembers right now. Hopefully that'll be the 75% that she'll remember. Friendly roll off the ring. This to bring the United States within one. Well, the basket was good. I'm not sure why the official blew the whistle, but uh, Spain in the half court. Salvador looks to the baseline. 
He should do a guard to Salvadores goes up and Cox again has done a tremendous job from the help side. They look long. Joyner Holmes wraps it around. Boykin holds on. And Bawale goes up. Blocking foul caught on rather than toss. And Cazola has to come. 4.30. Spain try and come back to close out this game. Logan Bawale has a 66% three throw stat in this tournament. Looks like she enjoys that moment, makes the first. This to give the United States back the lead. USA lead by one, timeout. No, just a substitution. And Spain go back with their starters. Coach the Pena will hope this five will see the game out for Spain. Salvadores finds Lopez high. Conde cuts low, doesn't get it. Salvadores off the down screen. Ten on the shot clock. Salvadores try to create a little space. Can't do it. Conde puts it on the floor, falls, travels, turnover, possession with the United States. Aisha Dieu. Lauren Cox out top. Almost Conde gets a hand in. Cazola does. And I think the referees are going to change this. That's good cooperation by the officials. Turnover. Turnover followed by turnover. Salvadores. They've not worked Salvadores over here. They haven't got up the floor at her. Lopez puts it on the floor. Finds Salvador is on a step back. Two is good. Thirty-six personal. This is a gold medal game. This is Spain in the United States, and Angela Salvadores has thirty-six of their seventy points, and Spain lead it by one. Aisha Dur. They look inside. Samuelson wants to go down low. Does Salvadores with a steal. Both ends of the floor now. And Salvadores will bring it for Spain. Junio moves it to Lopez. Salvadores gets it back. Well, if there's ever a phrase about being in the zone, she's in it right now. Cazorla, Salvadores gets it with four on the shot clock. Goes up with a runner. Gets nothing because Cox just takes care of business around the ring again. Aisha Dieu. Boykin outside, faces up, looks underneath. Dewar has it back. Looks down low. Cox, seven on the shot clock, skips it. I got Bawale for three. He's short. Cox, what a rebound. Goes up with a putback, doesn't get the job. I got goes up, gets the two. Strong offensive work on the boards. And we rem said right at the top of the game can Spain deal with that physicality? Cazorla has it. They trail one. Unio comes high. Salvadores finds Lopez. Cox is going to get charged with a personal. That'll be the fourth team foul for the United States of America. Just about away from the defense. 14 second reset. Two minutes to go in the game. And the USA lead by one. Spain out of bounds. Salvador has got to get it in. Lobs it into Junio. In the lane for two. Doesn't get the drop. Cox gets a rebound though. And Cox is just double doubled in a gold medal game. 18 points, 10 rebounds. 
Tremendous performance, wide open. Aisha Jura for three is off. And Junio comes up with it and she's fouled mid court. Wide open look for Aisha Jura. I think the whole of the gym expected that one just to hit string. Iris Junio misses the first. 87% from the line on the tournament, but as we said previously, that stat means nothing. Makes the second, ties it at 71. 136. Aisha Jura on the dribble. Going coast to coast. Oh, what a block. Cox with the offensive pop back. Lauren Cox gets it done on the glass again for the United States. Great play by Lopez and Nuno, but Cox outworked everybody. United States with a 73 71 lead. 117 to go. Salvadoris skips it. Conde for three in the corner. Is short. Junio on the glass. What a rebound. Goes back up. And Lauren Cox with the offensive. Play at one end, comes down with a block and a defensive rebound. Lauren Cox carrying the United States here. Aisha Jewell, last minute, spins in the lane for two, count it. Timeout Spain. And Aisha Jewell gets the two. But Lauren Cox, offensive rebound. At one end, gets back the other end, gets the block and the defensive rebound. None of that would have been possible without Lauren Cox. Jewel gets the two, Spain lead. Spain trail by four, but Pena takes the timeout. So Spain will take the possession of the basketball in the front court. There's 44 and a half seconds to go. They trail four. They've trailed for most of the game. They've led by as many as four. But now, the gold medal on the line in with 44 seconds to go. They need someone else but Salvadores because the USA will be all over this girl. Salvadores, find Cazola, open for three, count it! And the referee's caught an offensive foul away from the ball. Need to see it again. Well, I hope we get shown that again. Here we go. Well, you saw, you saw the contact. Was it a foul? Only the man with the whistle knows. There's still a full team differential between game and shot clock. Spain decide not to foul. Aisha Dua goes up, doesn't get the drop. Uti comes down with a rebound, gets it to Junio, still there for Spain. Salvadores goes up for two, count him. Foul called, seven seconds. The USA will walk down the floor. Aisha Jewel. Takes the first, makes the first. The 
best free throw shooter on this United States team to ice it for the United States. This will make it a two possession game. And she does. A Shadur down the end of this game has been the answer. Unio steps for three, is short. And they get the put back and Salvadores makes the two. It's a two point game. The United States are the world champions. What a game. We're not going to dwell on the call because the two teams have played a remarkable game of under 17 basketball. Spain have taken themselves to the brink of a championship, but through the efforts of Asia Dur and Lauren Cox in that last minute, the United States retain their world title with a two point win, 77 to 75. Angela Salvadores with 38 points ends up on a losing team. confirmation the USA beats Spain 77 75 both teams in huddles around the halfway line both teams have shown you why they are that's number one and number two ranked teams on the FIBA rankings Emotion. It's so contrast. The USA relieved, happy, are the world champions. Spain, when they sit down and look at what they've achieved, it'll come down to one or two plays. When they forget the offensive foul call and look at the game, they will just know they have put a phenomenal performance on the floor. But at the moment, that all means nothing because they are the silver medalists. Almost the worst place to be on championship finals day at a world championship. We're going to get a look at the statistics, which only begin to tell you the story of the game. Spain shot 44% competed on the glass, but the USA just 18 offensive rebounds, but Spain had 20. 19 turnovers for the United States, only 10 for Spain. You can analyze this all you want. You can point to any number of stats, but the most important stat is the United States of America with Lauren Cox coming up with a phenomenal performance with 20 points, Salvadores, well, she could not possibly do any more. 38 points personal. We'll just show you these highlights, starting with Lauren Cox, who at both ends was just absolutely phenomenal. Cox's stat line, 30, nearly 32 minutes, 57% from the field, 12 rebounds, one steal, two assists, eight blocks in a world championship final, and 20 points. Lauren Cox was just the rock that this performance by the United States was built on. And you can't also say enough great things about Aisha Dewar. 34 minutes, four assists. 47% from the field, just clutch free throws at the end. And Alec Agamboale, 15 points personal. 
but all around a great team effort by the United States of America. They retain their under 17 world championship tag. They are the number one ranked team in the world. But the number two ranked team, Spain, are here. They are here, they're at the level. And this could be the beginning of a great summer of world championships. Under 17 boys and the two senior championships to finish the international season in Spain in September and Turkey at the beginning of October. Well, if this game sets the standards, we're in for a great summer of World Championship basketball. The Czech Republic have done a great job organizing this. The USA have done a great job and Spain have been phenomenal in defeat. It only remains for the medal ceremonies that will start very shortly. The USA celebrate their gold medal triumph. The arena now ready for the medal ceremony. The presentation party is under the basket at the left end of the arena, far in from that camera shot. And the teams will now enter. And Spain, the silver medalists, will come into the arena first and line up on the left-hand side of the podiums. The gold medalists from the United States will now make their way into the arena here in Pilsen. And the bronze medalists from earlier on today, Hungary. Will make their way into the arena. the presentation ceremony will be the awards for the all tournament team presented by Tiso and the awards will be presented by Michaela Frenchkova and the first member of the team Deborah Dubé from Hungary making her way to receive her all tournament team award. Led Hungary in scoring in this competition and is part of just a phenomenal progress of this Hungarian age group team. And the second member of the all tournament team Katie Samuelson from the United States of America. 
will receive her award from Tissot. And again, awarded by Michaela Frenchikova. And the third member of this all-tournament team, Angela Salvadoris, 38 points in the final. Unbelievable performance in a World Championship final. Just came up short, but more than earned her place in that all-tournament team. And Joyner Holmes will be the fourth member of that team. Huge impact. Joyner Holmes, huge impact as she steps onto the floor. Only averaging around 18 minutes of floor time, but averaging 12 points a game and receives her award. Only one more member of this all tournament team. And Vera Kiss from Hungary, who had a phenomenal bronze medal game. 20 points, 12 rebounds in that bronze medal game. But has double doubled across this championship. And you will see not just these five, but many of these players in the future of international basketball. pitches that will be around the basketball media, the all-tournament team. Only one more award before we go on to the award of the medals. And that will be the MVP. MVP award will be presented by Lena Wallenkensi, member of the FIBA board. selection of everybody in this tournament, everybody in this gym. Angela Salvadores, the tournament MVP. And when she reflects, she'll look back on this tournament with immense pride. That tells you all you need to know about Salvadores is that she must be happy to win it, but she looks so disappointed that her team does not win the gold medal. And that's what she is, she's a winner. But that was a phenomenal final performance. And now we will move on to the presentation of the medals. And we'll start with the bronze medals for Hungary. Well, last year, their bronze medal at the European Championships was their first medal in 37 years of international basketball competition. And then the very next year, they take that to a world level and come up with the bronze. That's just a phenomenal performance by Hungary. The medal's being presented by Mr. Slashes, the governor of the Pilsen region, Mr. Martin Doctor, the vice chairman of the Czech Olympic Committee, and Mikhail Go and see the Secretary General of the Czech Basketball Federation. Well, 
Oh, the future looks incredibly bright for Hungary. Hungarian basketball. Ironically, this team has to go and play, or some of this team will go and play in the FIBA Europe B division, as they did not achieve A division status with a team older than this. It's always a difficulty with age group competitions. But this team will be a force and a base for Hungarian basketball to get back to the top table of the worldwide game. Coach Kovac will receive her medal at the end of the line and she has done a phenomenal job. Tough, tough bronze medal game playing against the host team and Hungary delivered and have the bronze medal. So congratulations to Hungary, bronze medalist in the 2014 FIBA World Championships for under 17 women. Now we'll move on to the silver medalists. And the silver medalist medals will be presented by Mr. Martin Baxa, the mayor of Pilsen, Mr. Rudolf Sovetli, the mayor of Potovi, the other venue for these great world championships organized here in the Czech Republic. And Mr. Stanislav Kovacek, the local organizing committee director. So Spain, who came to the brink of a world title, will receive the silver medals. In the final analysis, Spain had the best player on the floor, the United States undoubtedly had the deepest team. Great contributions across that Spanish roster though. Cazorla just was tremendous from the three-point line. Junio in the first half gave Salvadoris the support she needed. But Lopez, Conde, Maiti on the inside. And great contributions as well. from Diallo for those minutes in the first. They had to compete on the inside. Perez, the youngster at 15, got valuable experience out there and made a big contribution. And Coach Piana, again, marvelous job. Absolutely phenomenal team, Spain. Last year's European champions go to the brink of being the world champions. But they have to settle for silver. And now all that remains, the world champions for 2014. The FIBA Under-17 World Championship and world champions are the United States of America. Pushed as hard as they've ever been pushed. And the presentation will be made by the president of FIBA, Ivan Manini, Mr. Marcel Chaldek, the Minister of Education, Youth and Sports here in the Czech Republic, and Yufi Zidek, the Vice President of the Czech Basketball Federation. The 2014 FIBA Under-17 World Champions, the United States of America, All 12 of them bound for some of the top schools in the United States in the collegiate system. And some have a real opportunity to make the very top of the game. In terms of this final, Lauren Cox, number 13, just about to receive her medal just gave a phenomenal performance. Eight block shots, a double, dub, double, double in rebound and points. And at the end of the game, she came up huge. And Susan Phillips 
receives her medal. And congratulations from Mr. Manini. The United States are the world champions again here in the Czech Republic in 2014. The FIBA under 17 world champions are the United States. And now we'll have the national anthem of the United States of America.